Looking up at the night sky, we're welcomed by thousands of tiny sparkles, all of which have their own story. Since the ancient times, people have been trying to communicate with these tiny lights, tell the story and connect the dots. Sadly, no response was heard back until 1958, when one of these sparkles greeted us with the voice of United States President Eisenhower. My voice is coming to you from a satellite circling in outer space. However, talking to satellite is an intricate job as they fizz overhead, not making any sound, so we need ears to pick up that information. And that is the job of satellite dishes. Satellites might communicate any information scientists have designed them to, whether that would be entertainment or what my work is involved with, pollutant data. To humans, some pollutants are not visible at all. So, uh, we give satellites special glasses uh, to be able to detect them. This, is, this procedure is called remote sensing, so measuring from afar. The satellite measurement just paints a picture, thus to know what pollutants are there and how much of each. We need to take that picture apart, so imagine analysing a painting and guessing what the colour of each splotch consists of. Was that purple made up of pure red and blue, or did it contain a hint of white as well? Therefore, scientists write programs that essentially take that initial satellite picture and try to paint their own copy by mixing the colours and making a note how much of each is added. Once that initial picture is repainted, we know exactly what colours or pollutants were used to reproduce a copy, retrieve the satellite picture. My job at RAL Space Remote Sensing Group is to work with that reproduced satellite data and ground stations measuring the same pollutant and analyze if the satellite from way up picks up on the same patterns of pollution as stations on the ground, bearing in mind that satellites do not give the best performance below the clouds, because the clouds obstruct the view below them. Additionally, the satellite's glasses might get smudged over time, so that needs to be considered as well. And nothing is ever so simple. With many more complications to mention, there's always more work to scientists. So my research helps to understand how well satellite measurements and retrieval algorithms work. And in other words, how good of a forgery can a satellite give? And we care about it because that's the air we breathe down here. So next time you want to talk to the speckles of a night sky, open the local forecast of the air quality and show appreciation for their work. Thank you.